so hi i'm lucy i'm the owner of the cheshire gift company so the cheshire gift company was started in 2015 but it was very very different to what it is now so i started with just a humble 400 pounds that i'd taken from my own savings i bought a handful of quirky but fun giftware stuff that you can't really find on the high street and i bought it off one supplier and i decided that was it i was going to go on a market stall i was going to set up um, a big business start selling on the markets which was good you know it kind of worked it didn't work out the way that I thought it would do to be perfectly honest it was very cold obviously the British weather is not great the Christmas markets were freezing sometimes I used to cry because I never even used to make my store money back 45 pound store money and I remember standing there one day for 12 hours and I knew that I hadn't even made my store money back so I was so upset so a bit of trial and error really so in 2017 I decided to get myself my own website I made it myself I'm still really proud of it obviously we don't use it now but yeah I was really proud of that website and um it started kind of like online so it wasn't just kind of local people that I was selling to anymore it was um, people all over the country started to be interested in my homeware which was crazy social media came along I set up my Instagram didn't really know what I was doing with it to be perfectly honest but I met somebody who now works for me who did know what she was doing with Instagram and she was very local to me and she pointed me in the right direction. She's called Becky, she, she's my social media manager now, but at the time I wasn't paying her at all. She was just giving me tons of guidance. She believed in the business and she said, you know, this is the way forward. You need to be on Instagram, you need to be on Facebook, you need to get on your social media. So I listened to her and I did. I picked up the social media aspect of it and the business has kind of just grown from there. So my team, there's not enough words to describe how proud I am of every single person that works at the Cheshire Gift Company. I think it's just an amazing and very empowering kind of environment where everybody believes in the business, everyone believes in me, everyone believes in the products and believes in what we give to the customers. Yeah, it's fab. We're, we're the type of team where we're not just workmates, you know, we are friends. Um, we've got sisters working here, you know, we've got relatives working here. The, the Cheshire Gift Company's kind of grown organically. Like. I've not really had to advertise for staff because unfortunately during the pandemic quite a few of my friends lost their jobs and they now work full time for me. There is not many people that get to say that they go to work every day and work with their best friends but I do. Only last year, so 2020, during the pandemic, um, I was still working a full time job with the police which I'd done for 12 years and I was still working uh, full time with a little boy as well. I've got, I've got a little boy who's three. Um, and I was still doing the Cheshire Gift Company after my full-time role from my garage. But yeah, fast forward a crazy, crazy 10 months and here I am in my own warehouse. I've got my own team. Becky now works for me full-time. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster of a journey. So that's us. So I think the Cheshire Gift Companies, I'm really, really protective over the fact that it is still a small business and I still want it to come across as a small business to the customer. I think that's really important. There are so many different like kind of brands out there, some big brands and things like that, that you know don't have the personal touches. So I know it doesn't make massive business sense to somebody from an outsider point of view, but I pay my staff to stand and hand wrap every single parcel. Every single parcel is hand wrapped um, with love, with attention, with care. We hand write on them. There's been many times where people have come to have a look at my business and they've said, you know, have you ever thought about getting pre-printed flyers or just putting them in standard packaging? And I've said, absolutely not. On those market stalls, you know, six years ago, I started hand wrapping things in brown paper and my pink ribbon. And that is what we still do today. Hand wrapped with a love heart on our Cheshire Gift Company heart. Yeah, that's the way it is. And I just feel that everybody when they order something online you know whether it be big or small a big order a small order i think it's really important for somebody to feel like they're receiving a gift from themselves to themselves and i feel like that's what we bring um people boxes of joy <clears throat> so the future of the cheshire gift company is looking pretty sweet to be perfectly honest we have so many plans the team it doesn't matter which job you are in within the Cheshire Gift Company, if you're packing parcels, if you're admin, if you're the social media manager, um, everybody gets to say so. Um, I love everybody's ideas and um, 
that's something that I really try to encompass within everybody's roles. If you've got a good idea, I don't care what job you do. If you've got a good idea, we can we can make that come to life. So we're very much looking at the furniture side of things. Um, we've got a big call for furniture and styling, room styling. We've recently rebranded and we've got at home with the Cheshire Gift Company now, which is going to be going live very soon. A little secret that I've been keeping for a long time is our ceramic mice have done that well that we now have our own brand of ceramic mice, which is gonna be really exciting. And um, very soon we are gonna be launching uh, the Cheshire Mouse Company. And yeah, all I'm gonna say is watch this space because you don't wanna miss it. <laughs>